Fifth graders with ukuleles. Are you bored? Do you need something to work on? Well, I have a song that has like four chords, but one of them you change a little bit like three different times, which is kind of cool, but it's super, the change on that one is super easy. But they're newer chords, so they might be a little tricky. Let's go through it. First things first, got your ukulele. We're gonna make a G. Now this is different than G7 that we were working on in class, so be careful. On G, you're gonna take your first finger, you're gonna be on the second fret, third string, second finger, second fret, first string, and third finger, third fret, second string. So, see right there? So where's my first finger? It's way up here. My second finger's down here. So they're doing that bracket thing that they did on the G7. Let me make sure. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, good. I was getting confused there for a second. So yeah, it's a little bit easier than G7, I think. But this is G. Okay? So that's your first chord. And that's going to be the chord you play a lot. We're doing a Stevie Wonder song. Okay? And then the next chord we're going to do is A minor. A minor is a, uh, a little like F, except that I'm just going to use my second finger on the second fret, fourth string. Okay? So F is like this, where I have first finger down here. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use my second finger on the second fret, fourth string. So it's got that A minor sound. Now, a minor is the one that's going to be not super hard, but it's a little funky because you're going to do A minor and then you're going to switch from your second finger, second fret to first finger, first fret on the fourth string. And then it sounds like this. Sounds kind of exotic, right? Not like that guy on Netflix. No, no, no. Okay. And so, and then the third version of this, you're going to just lift up and not play anything on the fingerboard. Not quite as exotic as the A minor major seven, which is first finger, first fret, first or fourth string. But that one's super exotic. And then your A minor, second finger, second fret, fourth string. So you do that, and then you go to the first finger. And then you lift up. And then you go back. And then you go to the second finger. So the run is gonna be like this. down and then you go back to this okay and we'll get to that in a minute I'll show you how that all works but that's that run so if I were you after I got that G done I would just practice going like this oh sorry Can you see my, my strings look weird on the video maybe that's just me okay so a minor a minor major 7, which is a weird chord, A minor 7, A minor major 7, don't worry about what all that means yet, you'll get that in high school, and then A minor again, okay? And then we're going to do a D chord, which is totally new to us, but not super hard. So first finger is way up here on the top string. Second finger is on the next string down. We are on the second fret, not the first, and then third finger. So they're right next to each other. They're all on the second fret, and it's just... Uh, top string, so four, three, two. Okay, so my first finger's on four, my second finger's on three, and my third finger's on two. But all on the second fret, not the first fret. This is D. Okay, so there's your D. Okay, now the last chord is, I think, the trickiest out of all of these, at least for your fingers. Okay, so first finger, second fret, first string. Second finger, second fret, or third fret, second string. Third finger, fourth fret, third string. Okay? So the match the the fingers match the strings, but they're over one fret. They're not on they don't start on first fret, they start in second. So that's E minor. And we only play it a couple times. And what you're gonna have to practice is going from D to E minor which is kind of tricky because you're going all the way from here, everything's up here on top, and then your fingers turn around completely. Okay, from here to there, here to there, and you might just practice that. Okay, it comes later in the song though, it's not something you do right away, okay? So this song is called, I Just Called to Say I Love You, which I think is a great song to work on right now, 
because you can't really do anything else except call people, right? You can't go over and talk to them. So you can call them though. So I thought this would be a good one. It's by Stevie Wonder. I'll post the picture of the of the paper too. But let me go ahead and sing it for you, starting on G. No New Year's Day to celebrate. No chocolate covered candied hearts to give away. No first of spring. I kind of messed up. I went to a D when I was supposed to go to an A minor. Don't freak out if you make those mistakes. Just fix them. It's okay. you got plenty of time on your hands if you're interested in learning stuff like this, okay? So again, I tried to show you each time I did that funky little thing. I did it twice, and then I went from A minor to D. So practicing A minor, 7, which is no fingers on the fingerboard, super easy, to D. Just practice that. That's an easy one. And then practice your D to E minor, because that one comes later, and that one's kind of tricky. Those are probably going to be the hardest ones. Of course, you're going to have to practice the G because it's new, but it's easier than G7. So I think you got it, okay? Drop me an email. Send me a note if you need any help. I'm always happy to help. I can set up a Zoom meeting if you want me to like work with you one-on-one -on -one or with some of your friends. Just let me know. Miss you guys.